Hello, my name is Frank. Welcome to Learning in Technologies, Quick Tips for Teams. Have you ever wanted to add an RSS feed into your Microsoft Teams so that you can have different document libraries connected to your team site so that any changes are automatically shown on that site? In this quick tip, I'll show you how to do that. RSS or really simple syndication feeds are a great way to add content into your Microsoft team that can help support your team's objectives. So here I have a channel called Backpacking News. And what I'm going to do is go to the ellipse here and I'm going to go into connectors. Underneath connectors, you can see I'm going to create a connector for the Backpacking News channel. And I'm gonna choose RSS feeds and I'm gonna configure that. If you don't already have RSS feeds installed for your team, you'll get the add button and then it'll add it in and then you can configure it. When you go to configure it, we'll put a name here. So this is for the go backpacking feed. So there's a feed that I found called go backpacking. And then I want to put in the RSS feed address. So in this case, it's HTTPS go backpacking.com slash feed. And I want to be up. I want this to update maybe every six hours. So this individual, I don't know how often they post, but maybe every day I want to grab the information or maybe every 12 hours. It really depends on how frequently that RSS feed posts. Obviously something with current events, you might even want to go every 15 minutes. So I'll save it every 12 hours. So it's going to go through and now on this channel, what's going to happen, you see the connectors there, and I can also work with pre ones that I've already configured. I can go and modify them. I can work with different accounts that I have. But if I go in here and I close this, you'll now notice on the backpacking news, I have an RSS feed for this individual. So this is all the different blog posts that this person's here. So 11 tips from a world traveler and right in within teams, it's going to launch a website and you'll see that it takes me right to that blog post. Now, if you're ever on a web page and you want the RSS feed, what you can do is look to see if they have the feed symbol here. If you right click, and you copy that link, that's what you're posting into Teams. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe for more tips and longer videos, and share with any colleagues that might benefit from this information. Thank you for watching. Here's some other videos you can check out on my channel.